Hey, Sean here from speedcubeview.com. I've got some fun puzzles to show you that are not speed cubes. I mean, they are all kind of speed cubes, but they've got some cool designs on them. And two of them I have not opened yet, so we'll check that out. This is a music one. Now, this one took me a while to resolve because, as you can see, the colors don't match up. But it has to do with how the pieces are similar to each other. So, we have, on one side, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do. On the other side, same thing. Which gave me a big headache trying to solve it because I had to swap a lot of those versions. Here we have 8th, 16th, 32nd notes. Same with the rest. And then half quarter 8th, which is odd that they didn't line that up. But, sure, half of a quarter note, let's say. Quarter of a quarter note, yeah. Treble, bass. Alto, flat, sharp, natural, repeat, delseno, DS, dotted half note, dotted a quarter, dotted eighth, or augmented, and uh, two eighth notes, triplets, quarter half, sixteenth it looks like, even though it's kind of thin there, eight sixteenth, dotted eight sixteenth, dotted rhythm. Okay, whole, half, quarter, um, whole rest, half rest, quarter rest, this can be upside down and look kind of confusing, four, two, one, four beats, two beats, one beat. There we go. And we're back to here. So that is that one. It turns fine. I mean, it's kind of set up like... Uh, I mean, it's got lines like what was that, the MS-3, where they basically took a guanlong and added some grooves to it. But I've got two new ones. And these are also these are sent to me by a friend of mine. Um, so thank you very much. These are amazing. For those who don't know, uh, I am basically going to be leaving the music teaching profession and joining the math teaching profession. I'll still be doing music gigs, I'll still be probably teaching some private lessons, but I'm going to become a middle school, high school math teacher. Um, so yeah. Now this one's in plastic, so let's uh, break this one open. Now these are both math ones. I'm wondering if they're the same, but this one's colored to make it easier to solve, which honestly is nice. The all chalkboard looking one's gonna be difficult. Okay, let's let's do this one first. So we have our x and y axis a over sine of a equals b over sine of b equals c over sine of c. b squared equals a squared plus c squared minus two ac cosine b. I could, oh, should I go through all of these and talk about what each one is? Maybe I will. If if any of these you're like, hey, talk about that one, maybe I'll do that. Uh, maybe I'll make a separate channel on math, which will likely happen anyways, because I'll think about something I want to talk to some students about. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And we have a few different variations on that that you can use. Um, we have pi, circumference, 3.14159265358. Nice, so they add more digits of pi there. Actually, here would be a fun cube. It's just all pi wrapped around, but you have to know the order of pi to solve it. That would be a fun one. Oh, I jumped to green. Did I skip one? Well, here's blue. A squared, a squared minus b squared equals a plus b times a minus b. Oh, this one I skipped. And this one is different, I can just tell already. So sine of theta equals tangent theta. So I don't, we, I don't add the c. I mean, I don't even say O over H. I've never written it that way. So I wonder if that is a thing that just other people do and I never have. I've never had a teacher that writes it like that or it's a non-US thing. Let me know in the comment section. Equals MC squared. Of course we have that. Of course we have to have that. Change in D over change in T. This is the distance over time. Is that velocity? Oh, we got some calculus in here. Awesome. Calculus I didn't take calculus just a couple years ago, and I absolutely love it. It is my favorite thing. I think I would have hated it just out of high school, but as an adult, it's so much fun. I was geeking out doing calculus. I don't know some of these. If you know some of these, let me know. I mean, I should know I'm gonna be teaching it. Of course, c squared equals a squared plus b squared. So this one will be quite difficult, especially if I don't know the equation. So I'm gonna have to learn these equations and then solve it like that because, I mean, if I just move this, I mean, that's obviously not right. I mean, I could do there. Luckily, that just looks weird, so that won't really work. But if I do, let's say, 
Oh no. Well, it is scrambled. <laughs> it is scrambled. I. <sighs> what did I do? I did something. I did something wrong. I'm gonna have to go through and check that out. I mean, we can't have. I mean, we have to have an equals there, right? Well, I done and did it. Okay, so I need to go back, figure out the equation, solve it, and go from there. Uh, luckily, this one's just by color, so let's let's do a solve with this one. Yeah, it turns really nicely. Corner cuts. So let's do... Oh, I don't even... I was going to look and, and solve the x and y axis first, but I can just do colors. So we've got bunch of weird colors. Let's do yellow on top, which means orange is on bottom. So we have light blue, dark blue, green, black. I'll change the center colors at the very end. So here, 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 here. And then, oh, it's hurting my eyes. <laughs> and then, Oh, I'm looking at it. Okay. Nope. Okay, so now let's fix the centers. So this one just doesn't look correct. That needs to be flipped counterclockwise. So I'll just move a random one. Not even going to focus on which one I'm turning right now. Okay, that is solved. Let's go to green now. That I'm guessing needs to be flipped. 180. There we go. There we go. Finished. Okay, yeah, I'm going to work on this one now. But while I do that, hit like and subscribe for more content like this in the future. And keep following SpeedQBU for more news and reviews.